There's a new study out this morning. It says that women dealing with stress may have a harder time becoming pregnant. Scientists at Ohio State University measured stress in women using markers in their saliva. Those with higher levels had twice the risk of fertility problems. Dr. Tara Shirazian is an assistant OBGYN professor at Mount Sinai's Icon School of Medicine here in New York City. Good morning to you, Dr. Shirazian. Good morning. So what's the connection between stress and fertility? Well, for some time, we've known that stress does affect ovulation. So it affects a woman's ability to ovulate every month and therefore her ability to become pregnant. Mm -hmm. For example, in athletes um, who often don't get their period for long stretches of time, uh, they have difficulty getting pregnant. But if I'm really trying to have a baby and I can't have a baby, doesn't that make me stressed? Doesn't that stress me? That's a very, very important um, topic. It definitely does. And often when I see my patients in the office, I recommend not worrying too much because definitely high stress levels probably affects ovulation to some extent and then decreases their chances of getting pregnant. But so it's also difficult to say, you know, not to worry. Relax. <laughs> can, I have a lot of friends, I'm sort of at that age now where a lot of my friends are trying to get pregnant. Obviously we can't give up our jobs, but what can we do to improve our lifestyles so it'll make it more, you know, conducive to conceiving? No, clearly. And there are lots of great stress reduction techniques. There's, there's meditation, there's yoga, there's sort of taking some time out of the day for yourself just to not be too worried um, from sort of the day's events. So we do really encourage women to focus focus on them their, themselves. Is well. there a role for men? Yes, so men, it was interesting, in this study they looked at men, um, they had them keep stress diaries, um, but they didn't actually check their stress salivary levels. Um, but there probably is a role for stress in men as well. There is some data that looks at sort of sperm count, counts in men and that probably stress does affect men as well, but more research is needed. Probably this isn't just about work though. Surely stress can come from human relationships. It can come from, you know, you have a bad relationship with your mother or whatever it might be. I mean, this isn't <laughs> just job. about our jobs. Yeah. <laughs> no, it definitely isn't. And, you know, I think this is an objective sort of the first sort of objective marker looking at stress. We all feel stress, but it's um, sort of unclear how stress affects us. So this is one marker where they're starting to test saliva in women looking to see if it's elevated this particular Do you recommend marker. that people go get these saliva kits because I can see people running to CVS now <laughs> and saying I better check. Definitely not. Well first off it's very expensive. Mm. Secondly more research has to be done first. We need to better understand salivary amylase levels and how that affects fertility. This is one study, it was a group of only 52 women, so we need a larger study, we need to look at more people. Um, and those at-home tests only make women more stressed. It's easier said than done, though, just relax. That's hard to do. <laughs> Definitely. Very hard to do. Thank you, Dr. Tara. Thank you.